we didn't know each other very well because she lived uh, in Virginia for many years. She was working up there. She was working in parishes and she worked in a retreat center. And then she founded a resource center that was also called a bookstore. And she did a lot of uh, pastoral kinds of work. And so I was always in Africa and we didn't cross each other's paths very often. So we both turned up in Texas and we were together since 2005 when she came back to Texas. Well, um, she had her, 90, her 70th Jubilee of religious life and her 90th birthday in the past year. And then she got very sick and passed away in September last month. So as I was reading many, many messages that I got from her friends from Virginia and elsewhere, or telephone calls, or uh, mostly cards and notes, and they would tell me what their relationship with her was. And I thought to myself, she certainly did leave a legacy there in the hearts of many, many people. And I have told different people, I'm saying, well, I had to wait until she died to really get to know her. I mean, I have been just amazed. And now I've been cleaning out all of the things that she left behind. And it's mostly um, retreats that, that she's given, uh, courses, classes, evenings of reflection or whatever. And, you know, as I look through all of that, I'm just really amazed at what she did during her life. 